G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I'm working on the Sterling engine and I'm making up one of the flywheels. This one here. I've done one, a small one, and now I'm going to make this large one. The flywheel is 6mm thick and I've got to cross drill it through to the centre and tap it for a 3mm metric grub screw. So basically I have to drill in with a uh, another size drill suitable for tapping, a thread, and then I've got to drill through part way, probably to about the shoulder here, to open the thread out so that uh, we're not tapping the whole distance, and then it's just a matter of tapping that last section. Now that would normally be a really difficult job to do, but I'll show you how I'll do it with a Hilda, the Hilda uh, rotary tool, and it would do it in a matter of minutes. No problem whatsoever. First we spot the drill hole. That looks about right. Set the drill to the lowest speed, and away we go. Good. Now the carriage is locked down, of course. Everything's good and firm. Now we just drill our thread hole. Okay, just check it. Not bad. Alright, we're good to go. We'll drill out across the shoulder with the bigger drill so that we can avoid tapping the whole way through, which is a pointless exercise. Perfect. That's good. That's all we need. So here we are. Just finishing off the tapping. It all worked out. No problem. I should have actually drilled between the jaws. It would have been more clearance to get in with the drill and everything. As it was, it came close to the to the uh, chuck jaws. So it should have been around a bit more. Anyway. When you do these things, you learn as you go along. 
Okay, so she's all done. Well, we're halfway there. The, uh, the fly wheel's working all right. You can see I've also radially drilled one of the, the conrod bottom end holes. You basically just measure from the centre out and halve the stroke travel to get the the uh, rod position. So yeah, the whole thing is basically pretty simple. And I'll have a smaller fly wheel this side for the uh, for the power piston. The displacer being heavier uh, is has got the bigger fly wheel that side. So yeah, once again, you know. Try and do this without something like a like a, the Hilda uh, rotary tool and the tool post would be damn near impossible. You know, you you know you're, you're drilling a very narrow margin and you have to go through you know 30 mil. Did it no problem whatsoever. So there you go. The Hilda is probably one of the best things I've got in the workshop. That's one of the greatest things I've ever got out of Bangwood for sure. That and that little boring bar set that was terrific as well. So anyway, get to a Hilda. You will never look back. Okay, that's it for me. See you next time. Cheers.